Hello everyone, welcome back to Mr. Random Generator. We recently surpassed 100 subscribers and I want to thank every single one of you for supporting my channel. What I was planned for this video is to create something special for 100 subscribers and since uh, the thing that I planned for this video is a uh, interesting project which involves physical processes uh, it took actually really long time to make so uh, I basically ship that in future for a separate video meantime uh, in this one I want to show you a weird and interesting language named brainfuck so now let's look at that so what is brainfuck well brainfuck is basically a ridiculous language which is think of it as a language in between a x86 assembly and a zeros and ones it's yeah it's a bit weird thing and its whole purpose is to make things actually uh, harder and difficult to understand with actually a very minimal operator set so uh, as you can see we have a visualizer open right there and we have our memory and this is the place where we write our code and we got a console so uh, just like I said, we have a very few operators, actually we have 8. So let's look at our first operator, shall we? First one is this. Uh, what that does is, it basically increments our memory pointer to the its next place. So since we are on the first place, if I type that in and hit run, we go to the second place. And that, that actually moves on through our code. And we got just opposite of that. If we are on the second place, we, we move one place, uh, one previous place. Then we got plus. And what that does is increments the value in our memory location. So if I run that program, we shall see one in the first place, which is just that. And we got just opposite of it, which decrements uh, the value in our memory pointer. Then we got dot, which means print function uh, print some stuff in our output and then we got comma which is uh, the basically command line input so let's begin by writing a very simple program since we are on we are on 116 subscribers i want to uh, display 1 1 and 6 in our memory location so we increment our First memory location, we move one space right, we increment uh, our second position, and then we just put six pluses to uh, basically put six in our third memory location. So if I run that program, there we have one, one, and six. So let's, let's try something interesting. I want to put one, one, six in a single memory location. To do that, what we can do is type in 116 plus symbols, but that is obviously ridiculous. So what we can do alternatively is uh, we can use, we can take advantage of the multiplication operation. And we do that by true loops. So uh, loops are our basically final operations in the brain fuck. So it has the following logic. If we put that symbol and this thing, it is actually a valid root loop. But uh, one thing to keep that in mind here is that loops can only be entered if the memory location that we currently on is non-zero. So since we are on zero, it will not enter the loop and just put one like this. And if we increment that and we put next and plus sign and remove that, that will enter the loop and continues to put one throughout our memory, like so. So this basically summarizes uh, the operations that we can do on BrainFuck. So uh, let's put 116 on the first memory location. To do that, as I said previously, we can use multiplication. 116 is basically 29 times 4, so let's put 
Jamie Foxx like six seven times that time. Like he was trying to Jamie Foxx like six seven eight. So, yeah. I hope that is correct. Yeah, it's 116 is a not easy number. So then we enter a loop. And I will demonstrate what I want to express in a second. So inside our loop, we put again one memory place forward, put four inside there, move backward, decrement one, move forward and print. So what that code does is uh, if you hit run we just uh, move one space forward we put 29 inside there then we enter a loop and inside our loop we iterate four times essentially we iterate four times uh, 29 times over four and actually let's that should be that yeah we go to the previous location Increment four, go to our original location, which is which is the second position, and decrement one from that. And if I hit run, basically, we should see that it is working properly. Twenty nine. <laughs> yeah, actually, I miss one plus. Yeah, you see that logic. This is how it should be working. And obviously, since I miss one plus, and if I just make it a bit faster, we see that we put 116 in our first memory position. So uh, there's actually a simpler way to do that, and that is uh, to oh, also I just made a mistake right there because we haven't put any output right uh, in our console, and that is because we, uh, I want. At this thing, uh, I'm just printing the wrong memory location, so that should be this. So if I run that again, I wanted to show you something. Yes, we get T. So where does this come from? Well, this comes from that ASCII table. Uh, we have a thing called ASCII table, and this is the conversion table from decimals hexadecimals, binaries, octals to chars basically in basically the uh, logic between them and the conven uh, changing convention of them. So if we scroll down here we got 116 in our decimal value uh, corresponds to t. So if I want to put 116 there uh, I can do that by creating an input, hitting run, and if I put T in there, uh, and also a side note, uh, if it's capital, uh, the value changed, so keep that in mind as well. And I hit enter, there you can see we got 116 in our first memory location. So, uh, since we are on printing stuff, let's print, uh, let's print something uh, interesting, like uh, I want to print 116 on our console. So to print that, we need to put uh, basically the one to there, uh, but we need to pick the corresponding ASCII value, which is 49. So 49 means seven times seven. So three, six, and seven, if I'm not mistaken right there. Yeah, four, five, six, seven. That should put, let's, let's get rid of those, and we got 49. So, uh, now what we can do is, we just need to get 49, print that, uh, again put 49, print that, and then what we can do is put, let's look at the value of 6, which is 54, and we put 54, and then print that, and we should be getting 160. So now let's do that. So we just print that and yeah, we need to do that. Check that again. It is working properly. But after that, we need to shift that one plot uh, one step forward. And then we copy this code and paste it right there. And we should be getting one and one. 
Now I can copy that and paste that and now what we do, want to get it put right there is 54 so we just go 3 6 and there we go we got 126 as our output as you can see it took us this much code <laughs> instead of what we generally do in many programming languages is this which uh, actually shows the ridiculousness of this language and also a fun fact that this language, BrainFuck, is actually Turing complete, which means that you can do almost everything, actually not almost, everything that you can do on any programming language that runs on a personal computer, uh, that can also be made with the language BrainFuck. So that is really interesting and I, I, I'm sure that people have just gone mad and created some ridiculous stuff. So. And that's uh, actually it for this video and uh, one thing I want to mention here is that we got again uh, we got this thing which is amazing written tutorial by Katie also Roach HD on GitHub I will provide link in the description as well as this visualizer which is also uh, an amazing tool for uh, working on the brain fuck so uh, as you can see that's it for this video and I hope you enjoyed it and if that is the case, please make sure to hit the like button and consider subscribing. And see you next time. Take care.